What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. The first episode now has over a half million views. All thanks to you guys leaving over 18,000 likes. Look at this, look at this. Tom Nook says, hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It's 2.37 p.m. this happy Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Happy Monday indeed to all my viewers out there. Now for today's news. Astoria gained a new neighbor today, Deli. If you happen to see him, please give him a warm welcome. Now, I didn't—I don't know if I really wanted Deli. I met him on an island. I never talked to him about moving here, but he moved here anyway, so... Okay. All right, it's time for our final announcement of the day. For all of you DIY-loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop I'm hosting. Learning how to customize will help you change up the look of any DIY projects you create. Hmm. I have no doubt it will broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this DIY workshop inside resident services. Curious crafters should stop by. That's all from me. Time for you all to get out and enjoy your day. Yes, yes. So, uh, a lot of people ask me, like, hey, it's like Zach doesn't remember things that happened in previous Animal Crossing games. And my excuse for that is it was I, I last played Animal Crossing seven years ago. <laughs> so, I, I don't. I mean, like, I don't retain memories of video games for, I mean, I, I, I remember general stuff, you know, broad things. But I do forget, like, individual characters, individual things, especially from that long ago. And I apologize if that's a problem. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. All right. Uh, Daisy, no. Oh, Yashi sent me something. Okay, Yashi. Since Cat didn't accept your invite and is gone, I found this. Hanging on your wall as a reminder of the one that got away. <laughs> I did go to Yashi's town. Uh, eventually, I'm going to go on camera. I just went off camera to get the iron and also to see if Cat would move here, but she didn't. And so, yes, indeed, she is the one that got away. My, my house isn't very decorated yet, but uh, how do I get over there? Hold on. But if this is indeed a cat poster, as I suspect it is, uh, then let's just open that up and throw it up here then, right? Uh, open. And, oh, this is Spring Blossom. What? What is this? Hold on, how do you... What is this? Hang on a wall. Oh, cat's on there! Look at that cat, you can see. Aww. Well, thank you. Thank you, Yashi. <laughs> I need to decorate my my room, my house. Uh, you know, I'm a little behind on some of the major things that you can do in this game. Uh, one thing I like to do, of course, is just roam the beach. Hey, we're getting some coconuts. I don't even I don't even know what I need here. Uh, oh, what the heck is this? Who's this? Hey, buddy. It's Harvey. Hey, yeah, hey, you live on this island? Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island over. My name's Harvey. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harv if you want. Wonder why no one ever does that. It's the vey part. Just Is the vey part just fun to say? Sorry, I got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason. Give me a minute, and I'll remember why. This guy has the memory of me, so... <laughs> Got it. I keep hearing about this island and how much folks dig the scene here, so I thought I'd check it out. I'm gonna start this Far Out Artist Collective, and I'm looking for ideas. So what's the deal? I heard that this place was deserted, like literally a deserted island. You have uh, you, the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. Just hit the airport and tell him you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad, Groovy, right? Anyway, nice John with you. I'm going to stroll around and see what makes a story a tick. All right, great. Let's talk to you one more time. You know how lots of folks have a hobby? Mine is snapping photos. Real shutter dog here. <laughs> a shutter dog. I even built a photo studio at my pad. Anytime you want to take some pictures, come on by. All right, so I can go to Harv's Island if I would like. Uh, so yeah, I knew, I know about the trick here. Uh, one, one trick is to just straight up use the axe, which I guess I don't have right now. I need to make an axe. I'll, the other trick is to dig holes behind yourself. Like, there's one. Oh wow, you can jump over holes. I didn't even know that either. I think this will work. You can. No, that's not gonna work because I don't want that. Because I want things to be able to fall there. So I don't. I don't know if this uses my shovel. Like if this like could possibly like use, break up my shovel. Shovel. But uh, now I should be able to hit this rock with my shovel like nine times. And it. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. I mean, eight times, eight times. So they're all stones, though, which is fine. Which is fine. But that's how you do it. Uh, I and I I, I should have. I, I thought I could place like the crafting thing behind me. I thought I could use a tree. I just like my memory wasn't quite perfect about how to do it. But thankfully, you guys are here as a refresher. I read the comments, and that's how it's done. You can also hit that with your axe. Hey, what's up, Snake? Yo, you've been training, Bunyip. Uh, let's chat. Guess what? I finally own something that even I have trouble lifting. Yep, I have a house now, Bunyip. It's got walls, a floor, even a ceiling. I can finally do jumping jacks without ripping a hole in my home. <laughs> Great. Good news. Now, Abel's here. Mabel? Abel? Which one is it? Mabel. <laughs> hey, hi there. Oh, right. Didn't I see you at the store a while back? I knew you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but my name's Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. Anyway, that's how I heard about Astoria, and I came out here to sew clothes and stuff. My dream is to open my own shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up a customer base first. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, all right? Oh, hey, since you're like right here, you wanna see the stuff I'm selling today? I'd love to look. Absolutely, great. Let me just open up today's catalog for you. And uh, yeah, I mean like, do I want any of this stuff? The answer is no, but I'm glad that she has it. <laughs> this is a straw, drinking straw glasses. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, you know, I don't know. I don't know what my outfit's gonna be looking like. What do you think? I'm going to bring different stuff each time I visit, so be sure to stop by. Yeah, bring different stuff next time. On the days I'm here, I'll be selling uh, first thing in the morning until about 10 at night, if you wanna shop. All right, well, good to know that you're here. Uh, is there, oh, I could maybe plant another money tree here. That could be interesting. Of course, I don't know if the other money trees are, are working out, but we could definitely try. Uh, oh, I got some fossils, don't I? Okay, let me, uh, I got wooden fencing, I got medicine. I don't know what all this stuff is for, but I got some stuff to donate. That's right, that's the important thing. I got stuff to donate to Blathers. I also have a knitted grass backpack. There we go, I'm wearing that. Get that out of my inventory. Let's just, uh, 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 how do I bury the bells? Was I not facing it correctly? Bells. There we go. Burying hole. I guess I was, it wasn't spot on. That could be a money tree one day. I don't know. I was going to read this. Uh, nothing new. Uh, oh, one thing that you need to do daily, which I sometimes forget to do. It, get let me in. How do I go in? How do I go in? There we go. Weird. <laughs> I have difficulty going into places sometimes as well. That's okay. I forget myself. So, oh wait, he wants to talk to me. Ah, Zach, hello, hello. As you might have heard on today's broadcast, I'm now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find DIY even more fun when you master the skill. I do hope that you take me up on this opportunity. So, uh, sure, how do I learn? Should I craft something using Tom Nix? Yes, let's craft, maybe I gotta talk to him first. I do need to make an ax, but I guess I could, I could talk to him later. I need to favorite some of these uh, crafting items because I don't, you know, I don't really want any of these things. Uh, I need to favorite like, uh, here, let me favorite the all, all the, well, I guess they're still, they're at the top anyway. <laughs> so, I'll make this though, I need this. Let's do it. There we go. I made a flimsy axe. Got it. Let's uh, let's learn about customization first. This you check this daily. You get rewards. Um, once per day. Uh, bonus. This is four days in a row. I'm getting even more miles. Great. Please select from the following services. Let's do Nook shopping and see what they have in store. I didn't look. I know that they have something like every day. Nook special goods. Uh, floor light. Garden faucet. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I can see myself maybe getting some of this stuff. But I mean, right now I'm kind of low on bells. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need this. I need this. Daisy May was in here infecting the whole town, and I can't have that happen again. So I need this doctor's mask. <laughs> and it'll be delivered through the mail. Okay, great. Great. I need that. I really do. This is like the Avengers shirt. Old school. AT. Hola, T. Chino pants. Slip on loafers. Agent KK. Okay. Anything else? Uh, special goods. Uh, furniture I've already obtained. These aren't for sale though, I guess because I have to craft them. Anyway, we'll be back. So I guess I'll learn from him how to do uh, crafting stuff. 
you know, more more detailed crafting stuff. What's up? What would you like to talk to me about? Uh, I'm all ears about that workshop. Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, Zach? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. All right, so what's he going to do? Let me get a drink of water really quick. Okay, I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the item you want to customize along with the required number of customization kits. Then you'll customize your items at the workbench. The design of, or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it out yourself, so let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing. The wardrobe you'll make, as well as closets, chests, and other items that store clothing, are quite useful. You can use them to easily change into any clothes you have stored in your home storage. You could use your custom colored wo wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. That freedom of, of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here in Astoria, hmm? Oops! You're going to need the DIY recipe for it first, so let's send that over now. Okay, so he's going to send me... I like how he has a, a golf bag with just a tiny little putter course. They're all set. So, come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe, hmm? So, do I even have enough wood for a wooden wardrobe? That's going to be the question that I... Wait, hold on. Let me learn it first. Did I learn it? I don't know if I learned it. Did he give it to me? Maybe I've already learned it. I have some wood. But maybe not enough. Let's let's craft some. Where's this wooden wardrobe? There it is. Uh, it's not craftable. I need a bunch more wood. So let me let me leave, and go, and all that stuff. So hopefully my doctor's mask gets here soon, and uh, I'm also not keeping them away from any essential service personnel who might need them. Does it? Sh how long? Well, yo, Zach. Yo, hey, what's up, Snake? Hey, Zach. Have a minute. Check it out. Somewhere around Jumping Jack 8,095, I got this sense of total clarity and purpose, and I had an idea. You met Deli, right? Uh, the one that just moved here? I, I haven't. Well, if we get enough hyper-athletics, athletes like that to move here, we could start our own basketball team. You know, we just have a bunch of cool workout buddies to hang out with. Either way, Bunyip. So, my idea was to stick decorations around. Then we can attract some first-round neighboring talent. I pitched this to Pashmina, and we both agreed. It should be you who throws out the inaugural first decoration. All right, so what do I do with that? What do, what do you mean, first decoration? Your Taurus telescope, so your call. Game on. So if we want a telescope, I mean, like, we could put it, like, where would I, where would I, I don't know. Where would I ideally put a telescope? Maybe somewhere uh, where everyone can just use it? I don't know. Oh, here's a stick. I need this. Where was I going? There's nothing in the mailbox. I was going to check on the mailbox, I guess. Um, so I have a bridge now. I feel like I could use a couple more. Like I could put a bridge there. That would work. Where would the tourist telescope go? But I like the idea of decorating. I don't know what it has to do with working out. Hey, I got Nook Miles, probably. Uh, what do we what do we get today? There we go. Rock splitting champ. There we go. Five hundred miles. That's good. And then we got uh we got shop to it. <clears throat> I did Nook shopping, so I got miles. That's good. And this is just new, but not done. Fun with fences. I haven't even thought about building a fence yet. I mean, I have. It has entered my mind to build a fence, is what I mean. But hey, one thing I need to do is drop off some stuff at Blathers. I guess I could... Ooh, here we go. Here we go. This could be a fossil. It probably is. There we go. So I still... I. I can't get a, I haven't got a consensus on what you guys want. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I didn't mean, no, don't worry. Oh my God. Take it back, take it back. There we go. There we go. Do I have room for it? Oh no, I can't carry anything else. No, no. Uh, swap it. Why not? That's right. Uh, let's get rid of this. Uh, I can't put the carp out. No, um, hmm. Yeah, let's just bury it again. You're right, bury it again. Huh, okay. Let's donate, then we'll sell. That's what we'll do. That's a good order to do things in, I think. So, yeah, I couldn't quite get the consensus if you want Blathers to, uh, you know, just tell me about everything. Uh, no idea. I did a comment search just now for Blathers, uh, but that doesn't work like that. So, how do I search for... Let's see. Search... Blathers. I, the YouTube has a way to, to search for comments. And here's something that you guys said. Uh, 
If you don't listen to Blather's fun facts about your donation, you're a monster. Yes, please let Blathers blather on about the donations. Okay, that's another one. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Blathers is so cute. So yeah, um, I love hearing Blathers blather on about various fossils. Okay, so uh, that's Lynette. Uh, if you want to learn, yeah, just talk to Blathers again and select. Tell me about this. Yeah, but I have to have them on my inventory. Anyway, Blathers is asleep. It's a it's a good day to be asleep. Blathers, wake up. Ooh, woohoo! All right. Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Zach. Welcome to the Astoria Museum. How may I be of service? So, uh, tell me about this. Hold on, make a donation. What, what can I donate? Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Uh, I can donate both of these bugs. So these are new bugs. Mantis and Stink Bug. He hates bugs, so I can't wait for him to tell me about it. So here we go. Yashi says Ooga Booga. How, what? How does that work? I don't know how that works. I don't know how Yashi communicated with me in game. <laughs> hold on. I messed up. Hold on. Yashi threw me off. All right, hold on. Blathers. Pardon me. I want you to tell me about these bugs. Here we go. Ah, but first, how may I assist you? Tell me about this. All right, here we go. Let me take a look and perhaps tell you a bit about it. We got uh, Mantis. Here you go. Tell me about this. Who dare I say? Ooh, that is a mantis. Do be careful and do not release it from his cage. I shudder at the very thought. Who don't let the mantis's angelic pose fool you, for it is truly monstrous. The mantis is known for its large size and tremendous strength, and for its sickle-like arms that pack a punch. And though they tend to eat bugs and spiders, mantises have been known to dine on small animals too. And those eerie eyes. Oh my! Did you know it has five of them? Two big ones and three small. I shall faint if I think of it further. By the by, it would seem our collection is indeed lacking a mantis. Personally, I do not mind at all, but professionally, I admit a contribution of this kind would benefit the museum greatly. Would you, perchance, donate it? All right, is there anything else I can help you with? Tell me about uh, this. Uh, let's see, tell me about this, uh, this stink bug. Ooh, dare I say, ooh, that is a stink bug. Do be careful and do not release it from its cage. Okay, so it's the same thing. I dare say the name says it all. Stink bugs are known for their stench. Who? Pewy. As it happens, these crop-eating pests use straw-like mouths to pierce plants and drink the juices. And when threatened, they use a smelly chemical in their belly to release their o odious odor. Who? How do they live with themselves? By the by, it would seem uh, the collection is indeed lacking a stink bug, and he he'll take it. All right, let's get this fossil evaluated. All right, hold on. I wish like I wish there was a way to speed through the dialogue a little bit. So we got some fossils to assess. Maybe one. Is it one or two? I don't remember how many I actually have. I have two. Great. So he's going to assess both of them. Confirm. And then, uh, let's see. So he's going to assess them. I'm just going to skip through this as quickly as I can. I was thinking, you know, and let this is an important part about this series. Let me know in the comments below. This is the question of the day, basically. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to start editing these videos. And what I mean is eventually this game is going to get uh, repetitive and, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it might be a bad thing uh, for viewers. You know, obviously like I could edit out like, here, here's an example of things I could edit out. For example, me like walking long distances, uh, me fishing uh, and getting like the same fish over and over. I could just cut to when I catch a new fish, you know, or me like trying to do like chopping wood, for example, like that's something that might start getting kind of uh, repetitive to see over and over in a video. Uh, so let me know if you want me to like actually make actively start making edits because like I'm about to go get some wood to make this thing, right? Do you really want to see me, you know, g gather wood from like seven trees? You know what I mean? So I could always edit that part out uh, and then just go straight to the part where I'm crafting it. But I won't do it this episode and I don't even know if I'll do it within the first 10 or so episodes, but I'm thinking about like in the future once I have to start doing some more repetitive things. I'll either do it. I can either do that kind of stuff off camera, or I could just uh, I could just edit that part out during the video. Anyway, here we go. Let, let's have him tell us about the fossils. Really quick. Tell me about this. I could also edit out some of the the dialogue, like this right here. He's saying the same thing as he's always said. This is a brachio skull. He hasn't told me about the brachio yet. By my beak, what have you here is a brachio skull. 
Brachiosaurus, whose name means arm lizard. It, what? It was one of the largest herbivore dinosaurs. Due to its long front legs and elongated neck, it seems to specialize in eating plants of pie. Alas, in order to support its large size, it likely needed to eat more or less every waking hour. What a ferocious forager it must have been indeed. My feathers. I can't help but get carried away when fossils are up for discussion. By the by, our collection is in need of a brachio skull. Might I convince you to part with it? For the preservation of our natural history, you see? And then one more. Uh, yeah, there's one more thing you can help me with. Tell me about... Uh, the... Right... Uh, the, the megalo side. Oh, I don't know what this is. Here we go. By my beak! All right. Uh, the Megalosaurus was a relative of, of the deer that lived during the Ice Age, long after the dinosaurs. It was also known as Megaloceros giganteus, which just means deer with large horns. True to their name, they were deer with antlers spanning roughly 10 feet across. Imagine the majesty. While smaller than many dinosaurs, they were nonetheless a very charismatic example of megafauna. My feathers, I can't help but get carried away when fossils are up for discussion. By the by, our collection is in need of a right megalocyte. So, so he, he can convince me to part with this stuff. I'm going to actually donate them it all right now uh, so let's go ahead and make a donation and marvelous I'm going to donate what the this this so I'm donating four new things I still have five bunches of turnips I should check on turnip prices when I go down south to talk let's take a look shall we splendid we will gladly take these off your hands ah no need to pull them out I'll handle the rest from here is there anything else I can help you with uh, I'm fine thank you so he told me about them. I hope that didn't take too long. But, uh, you know, another part, you know, about editing, you know, this is always kind of my defense and why I don't edit is because YouTube has a fast forward feature. They have a skip feature. And so, you know, I just kind of go with that. You know, I'm like, hey, if you want me to skip or fast forward, just, uh, you know, just you can do it yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, look, I dug up a fossil. Indeed, you did. There's, there's a rock here. Um, now, the, another thing that I heard is that you can hit this with your axe, and I want to test that theory out, and this will help save your shovel, maybe? Uh, I guess? Uh, or maybe it'll help, it'll prevent you from digging unnecessary holes. But I don't know right now, because right now I got uh, this here, so I don't plan on digging holes. I hope I don't dig holes, but then uh, I am going to be able to get all eight items out of here. There you go. And, you know, honestly, I'm in need of these, uh, these iron here. We will meet our new friend. Deli, who moved here. Nook's Cranny. Let's see. I, I also want to see how much they're buying turnips for, because I bought these for... Oh, gosh. did I, What did I buy them for? I don't know the range of prices that... <laughs> well, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. What? They don't have very much stuff here. They got an exit door? All right. Uh, seems like you're interested in a cartoonist set. I'm not. Nope, I'll pass. There's a toaster, the bear toaster. It's all the bear stuff going on. Okay. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, I want, first I want to sell stuff, then I'll check out the uh, turnip prices. So I'm gonna sell you. Uh, we got, uh, well, yeah, I'll get rid of the weeds. The, uh, you know, this is, <laughs> this is get your fix while, while we're here. Uh, what else do I want? Uh, wasp nest. I don't know what to do with those yet. Uh, I need to store these flowers. Oranges. This and more oranges. There we go. Confirm all of that. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for, okay, 3,000 bells sold. Let's see how much turnips are. Again, I don't know the turnip price ranges. I could Google it really quick, I guess. Uh, but, uh, turnip prices. How much are they today? The current price for turnips is, that's, that's not a good enough. No, no, see you later. That's not good enough. All right, understood, understood. Please let me know if you need help with anything else, anything else. So, uh, let's go beat Deli if we can. Thank you, thank you. And then, uh, when we meet Deli, we, we also, I, so I got two rocks taken care of. There's a th third above Blathers Museum. I haven't seen Pashmina today either. So, this is such a weird, this is such a weirdly placed one for me because of the fact that uh, well, because of the fact that uh, I don't know if three is necessary. 
Just because of the fact I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, but it's okay. I wonder, can you move rocks? Or are these rocks just set in stone? <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh at that too much. All right. I think we're done. And my shovel broke. Well, I'm glad it broke after I was done. So we can craft a new one later. Or now, whenever. Do I have my bench with me? Or did I leave it up north? I might have left it up north, which is fine. I kind of wish that I would have... Anyway, here, let's cover these up. I think I got them all. You know what? I forgot you can change the camera angle. So don't forget about that, guys. I got this rock already, right? I, I maybe didn't. This is where the axe could come into play. Let's see if I can just... Let's see if I could... Did I not get this one? I might have not gotten this one. Let's see if I can do it with the axe. Is it bouncy back? Actually, this is perfect. The tree is right here. Did I just find a bug? Did that bug just die by getting crushed by iron? Maybe so. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I only got... Oh, hold on. Let me catch this bug really quick. No, that was perfect. Come here, bug. This is a roly-poly. What are they called? Yes. I caught a pill bug. Okay, yeah. I call them roly-polies IRL. Pill bug works, too. Just don't swallow them like pills. Oh, I guess you could. I don't know. I don't know if there'd be any downside, honestly. I mean, the human digestion system is quite amazing. So uh, up here is Delhi, I assume. Now, do I gotta go in his house? This is all the stuff I got for him. I kind of hate it that it's just out here, but whatever. Can I can I take it back? <laughs> like, can I can I just be like, I'll take that away. Uh, Deli is here. Man, your place looks stark, but I got you all this stuff. Oh, nice to meet you. We met. I'm Deli, and I just moved here today all on my own. I can't play yet because I gotta unpack my snacks and my other stuff, like furniture and stuff, but come say hi tomorrow. Okay, I will. Uh, I met him on a desert island, and he just came here on his own. I did, like I said, but he said nice to meet me, but he's met me before, so I don't know what the deal is. Can I have this stuff back? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta craft uh, craft something for the. Uh... How do you? Okay, get that out of my hand. I, sometimes I just can't not figure out how to use out use this crafting table. All right, should I craft something? Yes, you should make a shovel. Can't make that yet, but I do need to. Uh, so craftable shovel. I need to learn those new recipes. I really do, and I probably should. There we go. I made a flimsy shovel. All done for now. All right. Get these weeds out of here. We're trying to beautify this area. Can I just take these all back? Because I'll just put them in my own inventory. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't know if they're... I, just, I feel like I just... I mean, but I, I gave them to him, so whatever. There's a phrase for that where you give something and take it back, but I don't know if you're allowed to say it anymore. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's see what's gonna happen if I, okay, there's another rock up here. This is the fourth, I think there are five on my island, right? So let's hit, let's try the ax again. Oh geez, that was terrible. I'm only gonna get like four out of this, or maybe five. Yeah, only, okay, that was bad. That was really bad, the delay of me swinging the ax an extra time. I don't I don't like it, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go, there's one more rock, uh, either up here or around the corner. There's a fossil up here though. And we'll, you know, donate that to bladders and stuff. There's a stick here. Where's the shovel? There it is. There's a fossil. I dug up a fossil. There we go. Get out of here. Uh, I guess I'll keep looking around uh, for fossils. I think the rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I thought this would be a great space for the telescope if I can put it here. I don't know if I can. But uh, give me the ladder. Give me the ladder. Is there a way I can permanently put a ladder here? Because I could really use like ladders all over this. Um, I was thinking I could just put the, I mean, this looks like a great space, but also what if we go up north? I thought we were a little no more north than we are now, but I'm just, hear me out. What if 
the telescope could go here. I mean, this looks like a great view. Like, if I want to look at the stars... There you go. Oh, that's actually, actually the perfect place for it. How do I use it? I want to look. Is that how you... No, this... Can I not actually use it? Is it just purely a decoration? It might purely be a decoration. Whatever. I wanted to look at other people's islands. There's a rock. Okay, let me go up there. Let me get this uh, thing. Is this... If this is... No, no, wrong. I'm going to cry if my ladder breaks. Alright, here's a rock right here. Now, I don't know. So let's let's practice with this. I think you just need two holes, really. All right, let's see if this is enough. Whoa, holy cow. All right, this is the money rock, baby. Give me all that money. Thank you, thank you. There you go, money rock. Yeah, we're out, we're out of money. There we go. That's something that you should do every day. But I think, I mean, honestly, with how rare iron is, I think that you should really try to find uh, all rocks every day. So that's fifth. And then, is there another rock? I think I have one more rock, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, let's see. I'll just, I'll try to find it on my own. There's a bunch of flowers up there. I may not have another rock. I might be getting confused with a, like a different island that I went to. Because <laughs> I did go to a couple different islands. Yeah, maybe I don't have another rock. That's okay. Alright. I'm thinking I don't have another rock. Oh, that's... Oh, I think I already... No, I don't think I got that. Anyway, I don't think I have another rock. I'm going to check. But one thing that I do want to get is some wood, of course. We talked about that already. I don't think I have another rock. Oh, darn it. That was a bug that I didn't have. All right, ladder. Oh, there's another fossil, though. I'm already wanting more space. Can you get, like, another inventory upgrade? There we go. Look, I dug up a fossil. All right, I think that I'm gonna now... I could really use some more bridges, honestly. Like, we could use a bridge down here. How much space do I have in my inventory? I don't have, like, hardly any. Uh, oh yeah, because I picked up that furniture. Uh, okay, so I need to... Okay, here, excuse me. <sighs> let me let me make some uh, donate. Oh, there's another fossil maybe. Let me make. Uh, there we go. Another fossil. I need to evaluate these fossils, donate them, and then I can. Uh, then I can go. Yeah, let me just pole vault this. I really should just build another bridge, but it's gonna take a lot of wood to build the bridge, or it takes uh, log stakes. I'll probably obliterate that money tree. Let me donate the fossils again. Then I'll start a real effort on hunting for wood. So we're gonna have blathers go through these again. It's been an exciting day so far. So that, that's another thing that I might, you know, consider editing out is just going to the rocks every day. Like I could do that off camera, for example. I could do that before I start recording. I could, I could situate my inventory before I start recording. That way I don't have to do some of the, you know, rock stuff off, you know, on camera. No, hold on, I'm not ready. I don't have a donation. I, I do, but I want you to tell me about the pill bug first. So, um, let's see. What What do you want to say? What do you want to say to me? Hold on. Ah, come on. Yes. Let's see. Uh, first, we'll assess the fossils. I got like... How many did I get? Like four? I got five new fossils already today. All right. So he's going to be taking a little look at these, and this is like another thing I could do. I could I could uh, cut out the assessing of the fossils out of the video, but I don't know. I'm really, I, I could always talk during this. You know, I'm talking to you right now, so that's what I'm saying. Let's have let's have him tell me about uh, some of the stuff. That uh, here we go. 
Tell me about the pill bug. This will freak him out. Hold on, this is a... Uh... We've already heard about the Megalos. And, but the rest are new. So let's do pill bug. Who, dare I say, ooh, that is a pill bug. Do be careful and do not release from his cage. He said that before. Blech, the pill bug. Children delight at the way these beasts roll into balls when poked, but the appeal is utterly lost on me. One look at their leggy undersides, ugh, how they wriggle. Young pill bugs shed their exoskeletons as they grow, and in doing so, sp sprout another pair of legs. As if 12 appendages weren't alarming enough. Yuck, I say, yuck. All right, so that's what he has to say about the pill bug. And then I kind of wish she would skip over all of this. I wish I could just donate it right here, right now, that he's told me about it. You know what I mean? Anyway, tell me about this. Well, have him tell me about some fossils, too, because I'm intrigued at what he's going to have to say about the fossils. And uh, I don't think we've heard about the, di the, the Dimetrodon. And uh, Dimetrodon skull. Ah, yes, Dimetrodon. Not actually a dinosaur, despite what some people may tell you. This reptile, not dinosaur, is most famous for the large sail-like organ on its back. Said organ was likely useful in regulating its non-dinosaur body temperature. Reptiles are known to be cold-blooded, but there is some debate as to whether dinosaurs were too. Dimetrodon ass assuredly was. My feathers, I can't help but get carried away when fossils are... Okay. Anyway, they need that skull. I'll donate that skull. And then what else does he have to say about... Uh, and again, tell me if you don't want me to do this blather stuff, because this probably takes up like a good 10 minutes out of the video. It's just blathers talking about things. Mammoth skull. By my beak, whatever you hear is a mammoth skull. Ah, mammoths, the bad boys and girls of the... Oh, I skipped it. They are, of course, most famous for their size, which could be up to 13 tons for the largest males. But they were subject to no one's rules, and some species were smaller than modern elephants. Scientists have pondered for years, were mammoths the, were mammoths the coolest of the all-extinct species? Perhaps so. No, because dinosaurs... My feathers! Okay, yeah, he's carried away again with fossils. We got two more to hear him blather on about. I keep wanting to call them blabbers. Blather, blabber. Let's see, tell me about this. And then he's going to say something about the de irony. Uh, Dinoni. Dinoni? I don't know how to say that. Yes, you may have not have heard of the Dion. Oh my god. Dion. It's just. <laughs> But you may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor. How do you pronounce that? Both were predators distinguished by their frighteningly huge toe claws. They also likely had feathers. The main difference between them? Size. These guys were about 7 feet tall and weighed 160 pounds. Little Velociraptor on the other wing uh, uh, was a compact 2 feet tall and weighed only about 33 pounds. I've heard that people meeting celebrities are often surprised at how short they are in person. My feathers. I can't help but get carried away when fossils are up for discussion. Okay, so, he'll never have to tell me about that again, by the way. Uh, I'll remember it. Uh, tell me about this is something else. Hold on. What will we bring next? Uh, this is the Ankylo skull. By my beak, what have you here is an Ankylo skull. Oh, Ankylosaurus were the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, the vegetarian barbarian of antiquity. Between its club-like tail, heavy armor, and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Can you keep a secret? I have even heard recent theories that it actively attacked predators. Can you imagine such behavior in an herbivore? It simply beggars the imagination. My feathers. Okay. So, we have a bunch of stuff to donate that'll clear up a lot of space. Then I can start making, uh, you know, collecting some wood and making that, that thing. Um, is there anything else? Make a donation. Thank you. He, blab he blathered on and on. I don't know, again, I don't know how much you guys want me to keep including this in the videos. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll put up a poll um, on my YouTube account. Like, check check that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. It'll really depend on what you guys want to see. Because I do want to make a series for you guys. And not necessarily uh, just have them drone on and on if you guys don't want to hear it. I think I'm done. I donated them. And then, I donated them, right? Yes, yeah, so now I have space. Uh, now I need to... Uh, gather wood, make the wardrobe, go to that guy's island, right? Probably so. There we go. Might as well collect uh, the oranges while I'm at it. Specifically the orange trees. Uh, 
This is where here. Let me let me just do all of these around this area. And then what I'll do is I'll run around. And collect them all. I'm pretty sure I got that rock. Pretty sure this axe is going to break soon. We could test out the donation feature. Yeah, it broke. Alright, let's uh, pick these up. See how much wood we have. And see, this is like another part that I think is a, is a good contender for editing. Just saying. <laughs> like, this is a lot of uh, time that could... Uh, I could easily do this. You know. You know what I'm saying. Okay, here we go. I don't know how much wood I need. I forget. But I can take a look at my DIY projects here we go I kind of zoned out I need a comment commentary we need it there's one more tree down here I think that I yeah no two more two more and then over here I'll see if it's craftable yet if it is then we won't need to make the axe again uh, wrong, wrong one. Uh, DIY recipes. Where is my new, there it is, the wardrobe. We still need, uh, four more wood. Thus, I need to make another axe. And chop away. So here's my crafting station up here. Uh, let's craft the axe. Again. And again, I need to make these recipes, so... We're looking for four more wood, I think. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay, none of these are... There's two, three. I got three there. Didn't mean to do an extra time. All right, there we go. We got four, I think. Get out of here, B. All right. I don't know what the point of keeping all these items outside is. So then we go to do the customize thing, right? Right after this. Let's find out. Because um, we need to, this part of the lesson is the whole customization thing. All right, should I craft something using yes? Let's craft. And then we got, uh, is it, where is it? Right here, wooden wardrobe, craft it. So first we do this using all the wood that I have. And then how do you customize it? Keep crap, what, okay, I don't, I don't remember the lesson. How do you customize it? Okay, wh what? Okay, I don't remember how to do it. I made it, now what? Ah, Zach, hello, hello. Uh, what would you like to talk to me about? About that workshop. Zach, you've got your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you need in the moment. For now, please stop. step, step up to the workbench. All right, here we go. Hmm, it looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. Okay, great. All right, customization kits coming my way. Thank you. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try to customizing it, okay? It's over here. 
Okay, so I can do different paints. White wood, cherry wood, dark wood, black, green, blue, pink wood. I don't know, man. What color is the best? I think I would go with dark wood. Nothing changed. Okay, that. sorry. Here we go, dark wood. Yeah. All right, so I'm making it dark wood instead. So there we go. I customized a wooden wardrobe. Yes, yes, masterfully done. All right, as you just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects. Hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as a DIY project. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom ward wooden ward wardrobe. Now, wardrobe. Now, take a break. Hmm, I do believe you've earned it. Now I'm gonna go over here and uh, I need to uh, maybe redeem some Nook Miles. Because uh, I, I was thinking, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. I, I clicked too fast. Customizable phone case kit, that's interesting. Uh, Custom Design Pro Editor. Pretty good, good tools recipe. Yeah, let's do that. Redeemable, yes. I need new tools. Redeem. Your order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal to receive the app data. There we go. The recipe data is now stored in your app. Thanks for using the Nook Stop. Great. Awesome. Now I can make stronger tools that won't break easily. This is going to be a, a, a material gathering game changer. That is a game changer. I will g get to it next. For now, uh, I'm just gonna go to my house, set up my wardrobe, put my clothes in there. I have very few clothes, but I'll put my clothes in there. Also store like the rest of my stuff that I, I gathered, even the stuff I stole from Delhi. <laughs> I, I kind of stole it. Then I'll go to Harv's Island, Harvey's Island, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I can pick, uh, well here, let's just put the, uh, let's just put the wardrobe there first, hold on. At the mirror, I could put it next to the mirror, I guess. Excuse me. Uh, let's throw it up here. Wooden wardrobe. Place it. There we go. And then, what can we do? A wooden wardrobe. Should I change? Get changed. No, I don't want to change. Do I want to change? Oh, okay. So, oh, wow, I can wear flowers. Weird. What is this? Yellow pansies. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, I'm good. I don't need to change. Didn't pan. So is all this stuff stored? Like here, I pick this, pick this up. Let's store some things here. I don't feel like I need a lot of these things out and about. So let's store uh, the lantern. Put in storage. Put in storage. Put in storage. Uh, I'm not ready for fencing yet, so I will put fencing in storage. The medicine, no idea what this is for. Maybe to heal my my uh, my stings or something. Put in storage the stone table, the clothesline, the stuff I stole from Delhi. Flowers are going to go back in storage. I don't think I need anything right now, but keep in mind, I'll, I'll know where they are. Fish bait, I guess, is fine to keep. Just never know. Put in storage. What is this? Stone stool put in storage. Mesh cap put in storage. All right, we're good. We're good. We got oranges. We can sell oranges, right? So, uh, I think I'm happy. Let's now go over to Harvey's Island because uh, he wanted to show me. And I'll be ready to go. And hopefully he'll have a crafting table. Uh, so, let's head out. And then once we go there and visit Harvey's Island, we, we'll be done for today, I think. I don't quite know. It's something about photos. And uh, maybe it was in a previous game. I don't know. All right. So. Sup, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to your one and only get getaway to the skies. The Astoria Airport. How can I? Okay. So I want to fly, I think. And I want to go to. Uh, my name's not Roger. Uh, so I want to go to uh, visit Harv's Island. Huh? Harv's Island? Where could. 
Oh, I know. You're talking about the island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. Okay, I can set you up right now, but are you ready all packed and stuff? Time for takeoff. All right, let's get you airborne. So I'm curious what Harv's Island is. Can I take stuff from the island and bring it back? Are there going to be new fish, going to be new bugs, new flowers even? I don't even know. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think. Well, I don't know what Dodos would do. They would go extinct, most likely. <laughs> That's all, that's all the answer I have for that. All right, touchdown like playing the kazoo in a microscope. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wingback. All right, Wilbur. There's Harv. Can I pick up these birds? Hold on. Oh, I can't I can't pull out my, my items. What? Harv, I can't pull out my items. Hey there, Zach. Good to see you again so soon. I mean, I was on the same flight as you over here, so it's good to see you so soon again after seeing you. Wait. Oh wait, he doesn't have that voice. I, I made a voice for him, didn't I? Wait, that was today that we talked, right? I, I didn't just sleep the whole time since then. Anyway, welcome to Harv's Island. Don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. It's called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking and it's free to all. So come use it anytime. That's the voice I gave I, I gave I only give like a few select characters a voice and he looked like he needed a voice. So he runs a photo. I can't leave this general area. He's got this all decorated and fenced in and clotheslined in. What are you waiting for? Head on into the studio. Inside, I'll tell you everything I can re remember about studio photography. You got, okay, so yeah, maybe this isn't a big deal. But here we are, Harv's Island. And okay, this place looks nice and cozy. He even has another floor. So, you dig in the Photopia vibe? Pretty groovy, right? It's like my home away from home, you know? Well, more like my home that is my home, really. But hey, since you're here, let's capture the moment on film, huh? And if you got any questions about the studio, I'm all ears. Well, most ears, some nose too. <laughs> Tell me more, bud. Really? That's great, okay. You've got, you've come to the right dog, yes siree. All right, there's basically three things to worry about with pictures, the set, models, and wardrobe. In other words, arrange your space, gather up the folks you want in the picture, and give them costumes. Once you've mastered those three, taking the actual pictures is easy, at least here in Photopia. You wanna hear more details about sets, models, wardrobe, or, you know, actually taking photos? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? And don't let anybody tell you different. Oh, you sure are. Okay. Well, feel free to use the studio anytime, bud. If you're all set, I'm going to go uh, freshen up my air. Come grab me outside if you need anything. Okay, actually, I probably should have had him explain it to me. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I should have had him explain it. <laughs> Okay, well. I'm on the casting couch. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's not be there. Don't know who set there before. And I don't have my mask in yet. So, uh okay, well, I don't know what the heck is going on with this place. I should have really really considered uh yeah hmm. i can't access my inventory what i just do oh when you see okay you can hold an amiibo i mean i don't have like any amiibos next to me except for this the amiibos it's it's a samus amiibo <laughs> all my amiibos are in storage right now so uh we're gonna have to figure this out later Okay, so these are all like the items that I can put out here, I guess. These are all the items that I've seen or acquired, I guess. So I can just decorate this place like crazy, I think. Okay, I get it. But do I get it? Do I care about fo taking photos in here? I guess if I if I guess if I had the amiibos, I could summon some people and take photos with them, and that could be cool. But I don't have the amiibos out right now. And really, the amiibos are only like the characters that... Well, the amiibo cards. I should get those amiibo cards. 
and then I will be able to pose with like cat for example so I'll get that it'll take a while to get but uh, let me just check down here and I guess you could do different rooms and decorate them in Photopia and I mean it's cool to see his island and all but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here doing set decorations I haven't even decorated my own house I don't want to decorate Photopia right now uh, but this is obviously a part of the game that is gonna be interesting to a lot of people all right Harv what's up hey you, uh, what's happening? Any questions about the studio mixed into your mind, Goulash? Uh, let me go ahead and, and tell me about the sets. Tell me about the sets. Okay, there's six different rooms here, and you can set each of them up however you like. You can press, uh, that to change the decor in the studio, just like you do at home. Oh, and speaking of set decorations, I got a special deal with Nook Shopping. So, if it's in your catalog, you can just borrow one on the spot to use in your set. Sweet, like granola, right? And if the furniture you want is customizable, you can borrow it in any color. Hmm. Yep, that's everything I know about sets. How'd I do? You need me to explain anything else? Tell me about models. Now, nothing wrong with being your own model if you're feeling selfie-ish, but you can also invite models. In fact, you can invite up to 10 models if you want to take a group photo. Now, these aren't professional models, mind you. More like neighbors that live on your island but if you got an animal crossing characters amiibo you can use those to invite other folks they might not, not actually be able to come though none of them ever show up when i invite them anyway you can call others by pressing that and tapping the amiibo to the nfc touch point H how'd i do you need me to explain anything else uh no but wardrobe you want your models wearing costumes that match the set right that's where the wardrobe comes in Nook Shopping will lend the clothes just like it does furniture, so you can borrow anything in your catalog. Even better, your models can wear your costumes too, and wardrobe changes are a snap. Just know that, since everybody lives different, likes different stuff, some residents won't wear certain things. Anyway, when you're changing sets with that, press a character and press X to switch up their outfit. Hmm. Yeah, that's everything I know about wardrobe. How'd I do? Can you explain anything else? I don't think so. I guess the pictures with my phone app. You can take pictures on your controller with the Nook Phone camera app. Okay, we knew. We knew that. We knew. We knew. We knew. All right. So, you did a good job, Harv. I'm glad I visited your island, but ultimately, it seems like I won't be using this <laughs> anytime soon. I mean, maybe when I get a lot more stuff, it could be cool to come in here and pose characters in, like, I don't know, like a space situation. That would be kind of cool. But for now, uh, you know, we're going to go back. Train wreck raisin bread is reporting tango swimming is go. Do you require assistance? Over. I'm ready to go home. So, I think we're good. Uh, yep. Bounce back to Orange Town. Roger. Oh, because we have oranges. I get it. So, uh, I thank you guys for watching. I'm not sure if there's anything else I should do today. But we did, like, the basics, right? We checked in with the Nook thing. We uh, heard the news. We hit the rocks. We, uh, yeah, I mean, the other thing that we could do is we could just, uh, keep on gathering things. We got fossils, though, so, yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for this series and how you want me to proceed. But, uh, I think I'm in a good spot right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop off the oranges that I collected here and, uh, see what happens. I haven't used a drop-off feature yet. So, I'm gonna drop them off. Uh, yeah, let's sell some stuff here. Sell something. I'm going to drop off the oranges and the stack of weed right now. So, sell it. All right. And then I guess tomorrow they'll, they'll, you know, they'll deal with me tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.